Good morning. Okay, now you repeat after me. Try it again. Good morning. Good morning. Well, at least one of you has the right attitude. It is a good morning. And of all the good news I'm going to tell you today, my favorite news is this. After we're done worship here, I'm heading for New Jersey, Yay. New Brunswick. Yay. Okay. <laughs> and I we're going to have Jersey. church in the church building with the people there. Yay. Yay. They haven't been able to go online like a lot of the people okay. here. We have very limited access in that area. So I've been delivering. <laughs> Stand up, please. I have been delivering the church service to them by paper. Cool. It's meant that they've actually had a few more pastoral visits in that area than anywhere else in the whole pastoral church, but it does mean that they haven't been able to sing the songs with us, or they haven't been able to hear you do your scripture readings. Only a few of them have. So this is going to be a really special time. And as things progress and as we're able to make some clearer and better decisions about how to respond to the, to the COVID crisis, maybe you'll be able to help me out in those worship services too. Because you guys, I want, Jamie, please turn around. You guys and gal, you have been a tremendous ministry team helping me do the services for the past, you know how long it's been, how long we've been doing this? Yeah. Two months. March, April, May, and we're into? June. That's right. Four so months. Four months next Sunday, we've been doing services online. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Let's start with a prayer. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. That we can gather. That we can gather. And have been able to gather. And have been able to gather. For all these months. For all these months. Thank you, Thank you for the ability to share our worship together with all the world. Lord, we pray that the praise we have offered, the prayers we've given, and the attention we've shown has brought joy to you. As we worship you. Be with us this day. Be with us this day. In Christ we pray. In Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Great prayer. So, our story today. Do you remember some of our readings? Yeah. The readings that you shared yesterday? Corinthians. You shared Corinthians. And in Corinthians, it closes with the words that I often use at the end of worship to say, ready? What is it? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion or the fellowship of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 So that was from your reading. And from the reading that Yanni boy here, hey, my goodness, wake up, pour a little coffee in. Okay, here we go. I'll try it again. Sit down, Jamie, please. And in the reading that you shared with everyone today, it said what? Jesus commissioned us to go forth and preach the good news of the gospel to all people and baptize in the name of Father, and of the Son, of, and of the Holy Ghost. Bingo! And you quoted it straight from the King James on that one. You just made a lot of people happy. Those are important commissioning words. Words that come through apostles or prophets where God is telling people to go and do something. Why people are dying? Why are people dying? We're going to get right to that right now, okay? But I want to go all the way to see where you guys read from is more towards the end of the Bible. But I'm going to go right to the beginning, to the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, where God gave humankind its first commission, its first job. 
The word commission means, just a second, Jamie, put your hand down. I'll get to your question in a minute. The word commission, some people work on a commission, which means they get a contract, a special uh, job. job, a specific job. You fill the job, and the job is done. And we still haven't finished our first job. Did you know that? Yeah. So, Jamie, you had a question. No, uh, then, then when that happens, God saves us all. How? Huh? Well, we'll get to that someday. But that's a huge question. How God's going to do it? Through his love. How about that? Good answer? I would like to go into a bunker. All right. No, that won't save you from that. So, God said, please, Jamie, if you don't listen, you're going to get in trouble. God said, let us make humankind in our image. Do you know you look like God? No. Yes, you do. You all look like God, even though you all look a little different. Let us make mankind in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So, we're supposed to, the word dominion also means stewardship. Do you know what dominion or stewardship it means that we're in charge of this planet. God said, okay, you look after it. How are we doing in looking after the world? Is it clean? No. no. Is, uh, are all the animals happy? No. No. Are we caring even for one another? Sometimes. Sometimes. That's right. We really try. And one of the things that the church has made, please sit down, Jack. One of, the church, one of the things that the church has made a big point to, to do, especially in the, in the last century, is to try and make sure that we are looking at, out for each other and helping one another. Jamie, sit up, please. Jamie, sit up, please. One of the things that we are doing and trying to do as a part of this commission, this job from God, is to look after the whole world and to look after one another, and to be more responsible and caring to one another. <coughs> God created all of us in his image, and then God blessed them, and said, be fruitful and multiply. I love fruit. <laughs> That's not what it means. It means, go and make more of yourselves. How are we going to do that? Well, take a look around. One, two, three, four. Oh. From Mommy and Daddy. We're trying to do our part, but we can't do it all. No. And we are expecting that in about nine, to, say that. nine to 12 months, not maybe from us, no. but there's gonna, probably going to be a lot more babies next year because everybody's been in lockdown. Oh. It could very well happen. There'd be another, what's called a baby boom. Why, why did God if there's going to be a lot of us, listen please, put your hand in. If there's going to be a lot of us, that means there's a lot more people to help look after this world. And really, the job isn't just this world, but all of creation. How big is creation? Pretty big. Pretty big. Yeah, pretty big. How big? Is yeah. it bigger than the solar system? No. Yeah. Galaxies, maybe. It's all the galaxies all the universe. God says, look after it, care about it, and care for everything in it. We're just discovering our little part right here. But we have a whole universe to discover and care for in order to fulfill the first job that God gave us. Have, have I ever given you guys any jobs? Yep, yep. Like what? Clean your room. Clean your room. And clean our playroom. And clean the playroom. And clean the yard and work in the garden. Those are all small parts of the commission that God gave us. To look after creation, to care for all the animals and all the creatures, even to name them. And do you think it stops when I stop telling you to do things? As you get older, your job gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And so it's good to have more helpers to help you do it. Which is why you're here to help me. And money. 
When, when God said for people to start getting married, for there to be a man and a woman together in marriage, he made them each other's helper. Help doing what? Look, looking after all creation. So, years later, and Jesus spoke to them, saying, All the power in the universe has been given to me. Go then and teach everyone in the world, all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all the things, whatever I've commanded you, and lo, I am with you always. Sit up, please. And lo, which means, and remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. world. Amen. Amen. That is called the Great Commission. And that is Jesus telling them to teach, reteach all the things that God taught at the beginning. Reteach it to everybody. Make sure everybody knows. All the world, all the universe. Everybody knows that God loves them. Jamie, put your shirt down. Sit back in your seat, please. Can you kiss him? No, it's fine. Boys, what is your job? children? No, we do it when I still do it. Mommy still does it. We honor our parents and they honor theirs. It's all part of the same commission. The same commission that God gave at the very beginning. He gave in Jesus Christ. And we are to teach it to each other. So it's something you can share with all your friends. Do you think you can show your friends how to clean up the environment? Yeah. You can show your friends how you made a garden and make a garden? You can show your friends how to clean up their room, mm -hmm. or maybe listen to how they clean up their room, depending on who has a cleaner room. Yeah. And we look after this world together. Jamie had some questions first. Mm -hmm. Jamie? Um, what happened if God told the firefighters when the world exploded? What's going to happen to the firefighters yeah. when the world explodes? They're going to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Next question. It's more than just the circle of life. That is one idea about how nature works. But how God does that is even bigger than just a circle of life. Really? It's a spectrum. It's like a web of life. Wow. All connected, all interconnected, and all connected through God. And God puts us near the center of that to be that interconnection that helps hold things together. And we do it in God's name. So... It's the right idea, but it's more, the word is dynamic. It's more complicated and more wonderful. Cool! Jamie, put, put your feet down. Any other questions? Um, what lockdown? Why lockdown? What, what's, what's a lockdown? Why are we in lockdown? Why are we still in lockdown? We are not in so much lockdown. It's really eased back. And that's because people have been responsible and caring for their neighbors. As Jesus commanded us, and the Bible tells us, we love our neighbors, and we've been loving our neighbors and looking after them by being responsible and, and, and physically distancing. Not socially distancing, that's wrong, but physically distancing so that we're not getting each other sick. Only a few people have gotten sick, and only one person's died, and we pray for that family. Who was it? He was a really sweet man that lived up way north in Campbellton, in, in, right, right near Campbellton. And uh, he was in a nursing home and he got sick. And so we pray for him and his family because this is really hard for them. They didn't really expect this to happen. So now back to why are we still in lockdown? Why do we still have to not have people in the church building? Mm -hmm. Because they haven't found a cure yet. So are you praying for a cure? Yeah. Yeah. Are you praying for a cure? Yeah. Let's have a prayer now and make sure we put in a... I have a question. Good. good. 
So let's all pray. Are we ready to pray? Are we ready to pray? Huh? Okay. Let us pray. Lord, we begin our prayer. Lord, we begin our prayer. With a prayer for Danielle's family. With a prayer for Danielle's family. Danielle Roulette was a good man. Danielle Roulette was a good man. Whose family loved him. Whose family loved him. And so we show our love for our neighbor. So we show our love for our neighbor. By praying for them. By praying for them. Help us to learn the lesson. Help us to learn the lesson of this time of quarantine. Of this time of quarantine. To love our neighbor. To love our neighbor. To care for the world you've given. To care for the world you've given. And to answer the commission. And to answer the commission. You gave in creation. You gave in creation. Bless us, O oh Lord. Bless us, O oh Lord. With the strength. The intelligence, the intelligence and, the and the wisdom to be good stewards of this creation, to love our family, 